Hello, my name is Peter Raymer. Today we're gonna to talk about setting default values for parameters on D365 Sys Operation Framework batch jobs. So in a previous lesson, we went over how to add parameters to batch jobs. And there may be times where you actually want that parameter value to have an initial value. So consider the example where we have a cleanup job, which is very common, and we want to delete uh, process data that is older than a certain number of days, maybe 30 days or 90 days or 120 days, um, any data that's older than that. We wouldn't want a parameter value to default to zero um, because then we'd be deleting all data and that could be risky or dangerous. Um, and so by setting a default value initially when this form opens up, we can help the user um, by giving kind of the desired and intended value for that parameter, um, as well as save the user time because they're not having to decide and fill in this value themselves. So let's look at how this is done. If we go back to our class, um, as a reminder, we need a a uh, contract class, a service class, and a controller class anytime we create a sys operation framework uh, batch job. So I've got a whole video on how to create those three classes, so I recommend you review those um, for creating this. And then once you've created those three classes, then catch up uh, here on this video. Okay, so I've got a contract class um, and in this case, I've actually got a parameter called retention days. And this retention days is just an integer. It's going to store how many days of data we should store. And anything that's earlier than that, um, or, or I should say older than that, um, is what we're going to delete. So I've got a retention days variable, and I've got a parm retention days. And just to show you how I'm using that in my service class, I can use this date time util. Um, and after I get it out, I'll store in a variable. I then am going to add negative days to the current um, date time. And then I can use that in a delete statement or some other query um, to delete data older than a certain date. So back on my contract class, there's a couple things that I need to add in order to get it, um, to, in order to set a default value. The first thing that I need to add is actually this couple words right here to my class definition. I need to add implements sys operation initializable. That um, tells my system that I want to use the initialize method. So I'll explain that more in a second. Um, the next thing we need to add is we need to add this uh, uh, attribute called sys operation always initialize attribute. And technically this isn't needed, but if you don't have this, um, the value will only pop up the first time that you set. And then if the user changes that default value to something else, um, let's say 90 days, the next time they open it, it will keep whatever the last value is that that user has set. Sometimes that's desired. Maybe you want to change it from what the developer intended and leave it there. Um, in that case, don't add this attribute, but very often we want the uh, sys operation framework batch job parameter to always open with the same initial value. So um, by setting this here, it ensures that we're always going to run this initialize method and set the default value. So we've added implements uh, sys operation initializable we've added this attribute. Then the last thing to do is actually add the method called initialize. It must be named initialize um, and it just returns a void. And then what you can do in here is set your contract 
class variables to whatever you'd like it to be. So in this case, I've hard coded this to 30 because as a developer, I want this to always be 30. A uh, user can then override it, so they've got the flexibility of changing it, but by default, I'm not letting it be zero, which is what it would be if I didn't have this method initialized here. So that's really it. So we add our initialize method. We have to say implements sys operation initializable, and then most of the time we want this um, attribute to ensure that it's always defaulting every single time. And then when we actually run our sys operation framework uh, batch job, we can see that it will come up with this 30 already populated and ready to go. Um, so that's extremely useful. I thought I'd share, I didn't find Microsoft documentation on this particular class other than in a uh, 2012 um, Dynamics AX uh, white paper, but you can see here they're doing the same thing. We're going to implement the initializable um, class. We're going to add an attribute as needed and then override um, or implement this initialize method to set whatever variables on our contract class that we want. Um, so th that's really it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, click the like button. I also invite you to push the subscribe button as well. If there's other topics you would like to see a video on, please post in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.